Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. I'm posting this card of the day, labeling it as a message for December 11th, because I'm posting it in time for December 11th, where I am in the world. But depending on where you are in the world, uh, 11th may have come and gone, <laughs> or you may not see this video for another few weeks, months, years. So I'm setting the intention that this be a message for the next 24 hours, from whenever you happen to see it. This is going to be for the collective out there. We're just going to see what's happening. Happy birthday to the December 11th babies. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever day you're seeing this. Alrighty, my dears. Eh, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it. Okay. Mm this is the card. This is the card for today, and it is the Queen of Swords. Move you all just a little bit closer. Queen of Swords could be an air sign person, sun, moon, or rising. So air sign is going to be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. If you have an air sign placement, you might be focusing on this house, or this area of your life, you may be kind of just trying to get things in order or organized or accomplishing certain things in that area of your life. The Queen of Swords is a card of boundaries, 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 boundaries. It's also a card of boundaries within like getting things done. So things like time management or being very selective with your, your, your time, your resources, uh, there could be a sense of feeling uh, as though other people are getting in your way. Okay, that's the feeling and the vibe th that I'm getting here is you might feel frustrated that there's things you're working really hard to get to. There's things you're re working really hard to get done, but it's like constantly somebody's under your feet or somebody's popping up and you know they're in the way and so I feel a sense of frustration with this card for the collective and the queen of swords has to be able to stand up and say uh either you're gonna make yourself useful and help me in this situation or get out of my way get out of my way go scurry along let me do what I need to do and she's not going to feel bad about it. <laughs> so maybe some of you uh, are being set back or inconvenienced uh, because you feel bad to tell somebody no. Or because you feel bad to not drop everything in that moment and turn your attention to what they're asking you for or what they're needing. Queen of Swords doesn't feel bad. She doesn't feel bad. She's going to say no. And she, she knows that she needs to say no sometimes. Uh, so Queen of Swords here is I feel like you're, you've are you been dealing with a lot of distractions and you're over it. You're tired of it. You're tired of the distractions. You're tired of people getting in your way. So uh, boundaries in this way. You might also be getting more organized in your life. You might be feeling the need to come up with a new schedule or like fine tune your schedule uh, you might also be very, very selective about who you are allowing into your energetic space or who you're allowing to uh, contact you or spend time with you. Some of you may be flat out changing your phone number and not giving it out to a whole lot of people. You may be going through social media and uh, kind of playing around with your settings so that only certain people can see what you're posting, maybe you're removing certain people from having the ability. Maybe you're adding new people from having the ability to see certain things. And maybe you're removing others. Uh, but a sense here of where you're being more selective about who is in your space, who is aware of what's going on with your life, who's able to contact you, who's able to access you. Uh, this is coming in as an intuitive message. I feel that for some of you, maybe you've already been in this energy. You've already been doing this. And now you may be having people come by unexpectedly. Like you might have unexpected visitors uh, coming by your home. 
and you may just be in the mindset where you're like, I'm just not even answering the door. I'm just, I'm not even coming to the door. Uh, I feel like there's this sense of like, just like you're just, you, you, you're cutting off anything that's distracting you. You're cutting off anything that's bringing you down or depressing you or discouraging you or pulling you in a different direction. And you just have this laser beam focus on what you're working towards right now and what you need to get done. Uh, I feel some of you may be cutting somebody out of a collaboration or a business agreement because you may have brought this person on uh, for something you wanted them uh, to help you do. So in other words, you may have had a very specific idea or a very specific vision. Uh, maybe some of you have allowed someone into your home. Uh, but now it's like they're taking over. They're making it completely and totally theirs. Like I invited you to do this business with me because you have this particular skill and this is what I wanted you to do. This is the vision I have. This is what I want you to do. And they're coming in and they're changing it up. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, this is going to be better. No, no, listen to me. I know what people like. This is what we're going to do. And they're completely taking it into a different direction. You may be cutting that person out and saying, look, I had you come in to do something very specifically I had in my mind. I'm not interested in being pulled into a different direction or being pulled into a different path. Maybe you've invited somebody into a collaboration and they're completely, totally taking it in a different direction. And you're like, no, I know we're collabing, but again, I had a vision and I, I had this vision that I saw you doing and like, this is what I want to do. I, I, I didn't bring you into this to, uh, to necessarily brainstorm, but rather because I want to have this dynamic and you have experience in that area. And I, I want you to, to do this. I want you to do this, but you're, you're going off in a different direction. So you may be ending the collaboration with that person. Um, Maybe you invited somebody into their home and, and into your home and you were like, okay, like we'll share space, but maybe they're getting a little too comfortable. Maybe they're taking over. Maybe they're like redecorating all your stuff or something. And you're like, wait a minute, hold on now. <laughs> like, what is this? I still live here. This is still my place. Um, so there, there could just be something here that somebody is overstepping their boundaries, even if they, even if it's not in a malicious way. And you just may be redirecting things and saying, look, this is where I'm headed. This is what I'm doing. And you're on board and you're, and you're, you're assisting me in that process or you're getting out of the way. I'm not interested in somebody coming in and rerouting me, redirecting me, you know, revising me, editing me. That's not what I'm looking for. And so there could be something here of, of wanting to go back to an original plan or, 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 or sticking to the script, so to speak. St sticking to, to, to the blueprint that you had in mind in a situation. That's the vibe I'm getting here with this card. Um, some of you may be uh, just uh, really, really limiting communication as well with certain people or certain situations. Um, and you're just getting very focused on what you need done. Some of you have goals that you're wanting to do or accomplish and you're realizing that you're not going to be able to do it as long as you have certain people in your uh, circle, as long as you have certain people in your life or as long as you're spending time with or associating with certain people, you're like, it's never going to happen. Um, I'll give you an example. <laughs> Anybody who's ever had an, a, an issue with like sobriety or uh, like healthy ways of living or like being health conscious there are certain people you just can't be around or saving money. That's another one. There are certain people you just can't be around because it's like you get sucked into those habits or you get sucked into like just kind of, you know, just throwing caution to the wind and just being in that moment. And before you know it, you've spent all your money or you've broken your sobriety or uh, you've done a lot of unhealthy things and you're just like, I, I can't do this. I can't be around this person or I can't be around these people. So some of you may be, uh, you know, setting boundaries in this way. 
because like you're wanting a healthier life or you're wanting to save money or you're wanting to stick to your sobriety they're like they're, they're just 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 could be some people who are causing you to lose your way or get off track and you're not having it you're, you're, you're not putting up with it that's what i'm feeling here with this queen of swords energy you may want to check out uh, the weekly forecasts there's a link in the description for those uh, the 2023 forecasts, there's a link in the description for those. And if you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to the scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous day ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.